Hey, what is up guys, it's Casual here and welcome to my top 5 upcoming features for Miscreated. So in this, I'm going to talk about the upcoming features in Miscreated, the most demanded ones in fact, and uh, give a little bit of an overview and uh, yeah talk about them mostly. So without further ado, let's get into it. So coming at number 5 is gonna be CryEngine V, and uh, technically this isn't a feature, but uh, you know, it's CryEngine 5 and it supports DirectX 12, so I'm gonna include this no matter what. But yeah, as the devs have tweeted, they're working extra hard on it, it's not gonna be in the next patch unfortunately, but it's coming out soon and it's gonna add to the performance of the game, it's going to increase the FPS, it's gonna make visuals look a lot nicer because uh, of DirectX 12 and DirectX 12 is beautiful. But uh, you will have to upgrade to Windows 10 if you want to uh, maximize the full capability of CryEngine V. But yeah, CryEngine 5 is a major improvement because uh, currently they're using CryEngine 3 I believe, I'm not sure on the exact version. But uh, we're going up about two versions here and we're also getting DirectX 12 support so uh, it's going to be a big one guys. So many people are going to say, well casual, they've cancelled the move to CryEngine V. Well actually I've just tweeted the lead developer Lord Snave and he tweeted me back saying uh, this right here on screen. So in this tweet you can see that they have actually confirmed that they will be moving to CryEngine 5, it's just a matter of time and uh, you know until they get the uh, coding all fixed and stuff like that. So it will be happening, not in the near future but it will definitely be happening in the future sometime. So coming in at number four is going to be Battle Royale. Now I know, I know they've uh, they've announced this a long time ago, and it, you know they haven't really made much improvement on it yet. And they did in fact state that uh, they're not going to be adding it until they finish the actual game, which uh, you know that's that's fair, that's fair enough, because uh, I want to actually see the new city. We'll speak about that in a little bit, guys. But yeah, Battle Royale is definitely going to be a good addition to the game. I can't wait for it. I loved Battle Royale and H1Z1, and I love the mechanics and physics of Miscreated, so uh, I can't wait till they implement that. Mostly due to the fact that it will add a lot more to the game, and, you know, it'll bring in a lot more new players because it's Battle Royale, and everyone loves Battle Royale. So if you guys don't know what Battle Royale is, I suggest you guys search it up, because it is... It, it is... <laughs> I'm just going to keep this bit in because uh, I cannot speak right now, but it's an amazing game mode and uh, I suggest you guys uh, take a look into it. And just to say again, this isn't coming out anytime soon, it's coming in the future, most probably after they've, uh, they're have they more finished with the game, they've got all the Revelant system and uh, the city implemented and stuff like that. But yeah, it's going to be cool. Okay, so coming in at number three is going to be predatory animals and the new mutants. Well, not new mutants, but a new variant of mutants. So what they're going to be adding is, uh, I believe Dirty Mike found this, so a uh, shout out to Dirty Mike. But uh, yeah, um, what Dirty Mike's found was uh, he went in the game files and he found out that they're going to be adding mutants with axes and also grey wolves. It is pretty cool. It does sound pretty cool, but uh, it's going to be a lot harder having mutants running around with axes because axes are a free hit weapon. So uh, you're going to have to shoot those in the head if you want to survive. But enough about the mutants, let's go on to talk about the Grey Wolves. So the Grey Wolves do seem pretty cool, the devs haven't released much on it, they did actually confirm it with a comment, so uh, that will be displayed on the screen. So some of the ideas which I have is uh, they'll most probably hunt in packs, and uh, there'll be quite a bit of them around, and they'll be much faster than you, just like in H1Z1, so you're going to you know, have to, you know, you're going to have to pop a bullet in them. And that's going to attract other players and also you could be in the middle of a gang fight and a pack of wolves come along and you know mess with you guys it's going to mess you guys up because uh, they're a lot faster than mutants they uh, they can bite you and i don't know if they'll be able to lock onto you or anything but it a bite wound is pretty harsh but yeah the devs have also talked about adding in other animals such as uh amphibians and bats and alligators and you know insects stuff like that really snakes it all sounds pretty cool but we're not confirmed on that right now. We've heard that they have been discussing it and we have seen it in the game files. But yeah, as I said before, that would be pretty cool having, you know, wolves running around. And uh, the mutants with axes do sound pretty cool, but uh, they're going to be pretty OP. I've also noticed that they've actually got mutated animals in there as well. So uh, we've got that to look forward to in the future. So coming in at number two, we have the new city and the new stores. So as you know, there's a massive new metropolis-like city coming to Miscreated. So I'm not going to bore you with that too much because I'm sure you heard quite a bit about it already. But what I am going to talk about is the new stores coming. Such as, uh, I wouldn't class it as a store, but uh, stores slash diners. Uh, such as uh, the new diner. <laughs> uh, laundrette um mechanic shop and the office building now i'm going to show a few of them on screen right now some of them i unfortunately couldn't get pictures of 
because I wasn't there when the experimental testing was going on, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Also, I just wanted to add, uh, in this one, they're also changing the road texture to a more crisp-looking one where you can actually see the potholes in it. I think I believe it's got a height map, someone told me, and uh, there's, there's ditches in it. It's uh, two times the resolution of the original one. It looks a lot nicer. It's got a lot more detail on it, and they're uh, switching all the roads in the map with that road. You can see it on the screen right now. You can see a comparison between the old one and the new one. But yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty beautiful. But uh, on to talking about the uh, new stores slash uh, restaurant slash diner sort of places. As you can see in the new diner, it looks pretty cool from the outside. You can see a lot of graffiti on it, you know, signs of the apocalypse right there. Uh, if we take a look on the inside, we can see lots of tables, lots of smash items, chairs stacked, and there's a lot of windows to shoot out of as well. And I actually believe this is uh, shot in Brightmoor because as you can see in the background, there's the uh, office buildings. No, not office buildings, apartment buildings, sorry. But yeah, if we take a look at this next screenshot, you can see a table which has fallen over, which you can most probably hide behind, which is pretty cool if you ask me. There's a lot of obstacles in there. You could probably hide behind the bar as well. It looks like a nice place to hang around. Also makes the game feel a bit more immersive. Okay, so as we take a look at the mechanic shop, you can see the uh, platforms which you, which you uh, rise the cars on. I'm not sure what to call them, but uh, you can probably hide behind those. You can see there's a back door on it, I believe. So I'm guessing if you have a broken vehicle, this is the place to go to get vehicle parts in the future. It's got a lot of detail in it. It looks very nice. It's going to add a lot more immersion to the game. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of melee weapons in there, such as the lug wrench, and there's going to be a lot of vehicle parts in there. You may even be able to find spawned vehicles in there, which would be pretty cool. But yeah, if we take a look at this next screenshot, it all looks the same. You can see a ladder at the back left there. I'm guessing you can get up there and sort of camp. There's a back room over there, a lot of tires stacked. A lot of obstacles to hide behind, and uh, you can see some garage openings at the front. Okay, so in this next screenshot, you can see the new skyscrapers for the city, or apartment buildings, I'm guessing. I'm guessing they're mega apartment buildings. It's either that or their office buildings. You can't actually tell at this moment, but they're going to be massive. You can actually see them from the map if you go to the uh, new city residential. They are very big indeed, and it's going to be like nothing we've ever seen before, according to one of the devs. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about the new city. Get on to the next. Okay, so at number one... We have the Revelant system. Now, this is what everyone's been waiting for, the Relevant system. It's going to be a major improvement on the game. We're going to have storage. We're going to have storage tents. We're going to have stacking. We're going to have the ability to unload ammo. It's going to be brilliant, and I cannot wait. And I'm hoping it's coming in patch 36. I'm not too sure about it, but I'm hoping. But as far as I know right now, the devs have been working hard. They've been trying their best. They've been working overtime to get this thing out. And uh, it's definitely going to be worth it. You're going to be able to store stuff in your bases now. It's not going to be crates, unfortunately. You're going to have to use tents to store your stuff in. I know that sounds a bit inconvenient, but uh, they do have a lot of holding space, as you can see in the screenshot right here. I'm not sure what the capacity of them is, uh, the weight capacity-wise. They may be able to hold anything as long as you uh, don't fill up all the slots. So yeah, that's my top five upcoming features for miscreated i hope you guys enjoyed and if you like this series remember to leave a like leave a comment and uh subscribe oh and i just wanted to add before we finished one of the devs have actually confirmed that they are messing around with vr and the oculus rift so uh that could be something which is happening in the future guys